Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing on this wonderful Wednesday? Truck or treat, Halloween costume competition, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coming up next week on Monday, there will be a trunk or tree at the Clinton House. There will be several trunks jam-packed with some candy and a free hayride. Make sure to get on out to Clinton House from 5 to 8 and enjoy some candy. Also, to add to the theme of trunk or treats, NHS is holding their trunk or treat this weekend on Saturday from 5 to 8 as well. So go ahead and pop on out to that one too. Halloween is coming up, baby, so you know what that means. Halloween costume competition. The competition will be on October 31st, and the registration will be during community in the Commons. If you won't be on campus during that time, then just email a picture of you and your costume to Mrs. Schaefer. The categories will be Best DIY, Best Group Costume, Best Recreation or Mimic, Most Unique, and Best Staff Costume, it's either single or as a group. Some guidelines for your costumes, you must be identifiable, no masks or face coverings, must be school appropriate, dress code requirements are still in effect, and your costume should not include any type of weapons guns, knives, swords, etc. So keep that in mind as you're making your selection. Best of luck to everyone. Attention, attention seniors. Turn in your cap and gown and graduation product order forms and deposits to Herf Jones tomorrow, October 26th, during the lunch periods in the cafeteria lobby. If you're in need of an order form, extra order packets are in the main office. So go get them turned in, seniors. Now I'll be sending it to the boy Los to talk about our state qualifier, Chris Angelis, for today's sports report. What's up, dogs? If you don't know, Chris Angelis is kind of that guy, as he placed 13th in the regional at Brownsburg and successfully punched his ticket to the state championship meet as the fourth individual and with Clayton County's top finisher. And let's not forget that he was recognized as WLFI's Athlete of the Week after being a top Lafayette area performer at regionals. The state championship meet will be at Indiana State University this Saturday as the race starts at noon. But congrats to you again, Chris. And stay hungry as the job is not finished. But let's switch it up and let's get the weather report going. Thank you, Carlos, and congratulations, Chris, once more. For today's weather report, it looks like we're going to see some rain showers early, which will evolve into a more steady rain for the afternoon. Today's high is to be expected around 71 degrees Fahrenheit as well, and it may be rainy, but at least it looks like it's going to be warm. Finally, for the low of today, it will appear to be around 60 degrees as the night rolls around. And because it's supposed to rain all day, I hope you've all got some sort of jacket or umbrella in case it decides to rain when we all leave school. On that note, I'm going to wrap it up here on the weather set and I'm gonna send it back to your amazing hosts. If you wanna see more on Chris, there's two videos leaked in the chatter, so go check them out. Make sure you come out to the play Sandy Toes and Salty Kisses on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. $5 entry and doors open at 6.30 as the play starts at seven. Shout out to Hot Dog Network's very own Doug Wood as he's making his theater debut. Today for lunch in lines one and two, we will have Top and Go Dorito Tacos and in lines three and four, pizza and fajita chicken bar. Big happy birthday goes out to Troy Kimboa and Jasmine Lozano Berrigan. Well, that'll wrap up your hot dog announcements for today, y'all. Have a great Wednesday, hot dogs.